In this tutorial, we're going to review how to pull in live data from a website and then use that data however you need in your spreadsheets. To do it, we're going to start out with a fresh new spreadsheet and come up to the data tab. Up here you can see that we have the ability to import from access, from web, from text, or from other sources. We're going to pull from the web and when you get in there it will actually when you click the button it will open up a web browser but it's not the best web browser so I usually go into another browser copy that URL in there and then come back to Excel so when it clicks from web I can just delete this and paste in and click go on the one I want and as you can see it pulls up Google Finance the same site that I had up in the other browser each one of these little yellow and black arrows is Excel trying to automatically find you different data points and these are all tables that you can pull in so all you have to do is click on the ones that you want so we can click that one and you can see when I click it, it turns green it's no longer yellow click that one I want world markets and let's say I want bonds I come down to the bottom click import and it gives you the option to either do a new worksheet or the existing worksheet in the cell and it will start from the cell that I selected hit OK and you can watch it's now pulling in that data feed and you can see that it's pulled in each one of the items it's not in the best order because if you remember these points right here were actually on the top of the website so you will have to probably format the data a little bit when you get it but the nice thing about this data is yes it's pulling it in and but you could have copied and pasted that from the website what this does though is it's actually truly real-time data so if you have something like stock markets or indexes or scores or anything like that from the web that gets updated on a per minute basis what this does is it actually goes back to the website that it pulled it from and it refreshes it so you can come up right here and you can either click refresh, refresh all, or you could also come down here to the connection properties. And this is the one that I like the best because you could do a enable background refresh. You could have it so that it automatically refreshes, say every five minutes, or you can click to refresh it when opening the file and what that will do is every time you open up the new file Excel will go and essentially ping that website and bring in the new data uh, stock markets are closed for the most part at the moment right now so I'm not sure if this will do anything but typically if you're having data that did change on the website if you just come and click refresh all yep there you go click refresh and it changed the numbers on the website so this is a great way that you can pull in data and make your spreadsheets even more real-time.